This guy does not come with any accessories. And I'm not angry at all because this figure, DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys Bane, is super dope. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of It Figures. Long time, long time. I know been busy with back to school and back to work. But here we go. Fresh out the box. This new Bang Mega Fig from uh, DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys. Here's the box. Got Bane on the side. Oh, see that catch? Then we got Bane on the other side as well with the little window piece. That's the top. Nothing special on the bottom, but this back artwork, man, oh man. Stop playing that artwork is phenomenal, phenomenal. Love it. And on the inside, you get, of course, the display stand and then a trading card with the same artwork as this. I usually don't care about the cards, but that looks so good. I'm going to keep this card. Here's Bang. He looks really good out the box, and I'm so glad they made him a mega fig. This is definitely redemption for that uh, Bane Builder figure that they came out with. I didn't like really any of the figures in that wave or the final Bane figure because he wouldn't stay together. Everybody that had that knows the story about his legs and how they wouldn't stay uh, assembled. And this one just looks better overall anyway to me. This is a nice looking Bane, traditional comic book Bane with the uh, Lucha Libre mask on, the Venom tank uh, connected to his head and his arms. Um, his elbows are single jointed. He does have double jointed knees though and a toe articulation and an ankle rocker. Um, no ab crunch. He has ab ro uh, waist rotation though. And you can see his, his shoulders butterfly out pretty far. And like I said, it's single jointed uh, elbows. He does have wrist rotation and a wrist hinge. So you can do that. See that? And the mold is just beautiful to me. Uh, he's a big, bulky, hulky figure. Cargo pants look good. They're textured. Black knee pads. Black, uh, like, high-tech uh, police force type boots on. And the more I look at these cargo pants, they look really good. Really good texture on there. Belt looks good like with the uh, metallic finish. Gloves look good. He has uh, fingerless gloves. Leather, like biking type gloves. Uh, a gauntlet on the left arm that connects to the Venom. And then this little tactical vest suspender type deal that he has on. 
with the bodybuilding type South Beach uh, gym workout type tank top on, the little spaghetti strap tank top. You can see the veins all over his chest and arms. Looks really, really good to me. And it, it reminds you, like I said, of the comic book vein, Bane. It's really accurate, in my opinion. The only thing I could say that I would have liked to see on this is if we could have had these tubes be uh, transparent and you have like some type of gel in there to make it look like you could actually see the venom pumping through the tubes. That would have been sweet. Uh, but that's just nitpicking. I think it looks really good. This is excellent. This is definitely a 10 out of 10 figure for me. Indeed. So, uh, the one thing about these mega figs, they're, uh, they vary in size. Each mega fig is not the same height or it doesn't measure up to be the same. So this is one of the smaller mega figs, but it is bigger than the the standard seven inch figure. And we can do a comparison right now. I have this, have this Joker mega fig right here. And you can see that there's a gross disparity in the size. There you can see his toe articulation. Since I just dropped them and disfigured them. But you can see that they are vastly different in size, even though they're both considered mega figs. So I just I just wanted to show everybody that. And let's see. Again, this is packaged and sold as a mega fig, which it is. And so is Bane. And again, look, he is significantly smaller than a swamp thing. However, when you get into the standard size McFarlane figures, then we see how big this guy really is. So, check it out. Here's Peacemaker. And here is Green Lantern, John Stewart. So he is big compared to these guys, but not compared to some of your other uh, standard mega figs. Like I said, I just wanted people to see the difference between him and the other ones, the other mega figs. I got this guy from uh, online, Entertainment Earth, I pre-ordered him. Uh, he came relatively fast. I still haven't seen him in the stores yet, so whenever I pre-order something and I get it back before I start seeing it in the stores, then I feel like it was worth the pre-order. So it was definitely worth it. Um, the detail is just impeccable. I'm just now seeing that you can see the ridges in his uh, his tank top or his wife beater, as they call them. Um, it's actually a separate, separate piece of plastic, a separate layer. So it feels like he has a separate shirt on. I don't know if it's removable because you have all this gear that he has on over it. 
but it is a separate piece of plastic to add more depth and layers and dimension to this character. And I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but you can see the ridges in his shirt. You can see the, the texture on his pants. The boots are very detailed. You can see all the laces. This is one of those figures. Not every figure that you buy, you really feel like was worth the money. But this is one of those figures where I actually feel like it was worth my money. Like, look at that. Look at the tricep muscles, forearm muscles, bicep, all of the vascularity, veins everywhere. This guy looks amazing. Like, what's, what's to complain about? 10 out of 10 for sure, for sure. You even got some double jointed knees out of this big bulky guy. So I love it. I recommend it for your collection. Definitely a standout piece. And now we're gonna put this guy on the turntable, let you see him close up and let you see some photos of them as well, some close-up shots, so you can see how detailed and awesome this guy really is. So I'm gonna leave you with those, and until next time, peace out, keep hunting, keep collecting, peace.